Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Rotter Two Brief here again. This is Steve. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's Saltwater Aquarium Care. Every show is uh, geared towards the newbies for the most part. Getting into the saltwater aquarium. My name is Steve, your host, and I do one to two to three videos a week depending on the mood I'm in. I also do a Friday live show, but I just wanted to take the time to show the 125 gallon saltwater aquarium. I don't really show it off that much. I love filming it. These guys like being on film. We got a couple Ossilers, clowns, chilling out. They're ready to eat. The female hangs out at the top of the water. She actually sticks her head out of the water when it's time to eat. So I'm going to see if I can film that another time. When she sees her white dish right there, with the pellets in it. She knows it's time to eat and she hangs out where the white dish is above the water. It's pretty cute. And we got the Fowlery Tang right there as always. Getting bigger. Sailfin Tang, which is the striped one. Fox face right there, the yellow, white and black. Getting big, getting fat, getting big. Coal tang, excellent for eating algae off the rocks. Coal tang is beautiful. One of my favorites. Nassau was an impulse buy. There's the Fowlery tang, doing good as always. There's a star, sand sifting star somewhere under the sand. And a sand sifting goby under the rock. Uh, this is how I feed on my rubber band bok choy or collard greens to a small piece of PVC daily. That's what they get. They're going to eat soon. Corals are doing pretty good. All right. My nitrates were really high, like over 60, which is insane. But they're starting to look a little better. My corals just aren't, they're just shrimp hanging out, getting bigger. Um, my corals were not really getting that big, um, but I think it's due to the nitrates, obviously. Nitrates have to be zero. Nitrates are part of the nitrogen cycle. It starts when you feed your fish, then they go to the bathroom in the water. Uh, an aquarium is nothing more than a really nice toilet. And all that waste and pee and fish crap in the water, it breaks down into nitrites, and then the nitrites break down nitrates. Nitrates have to be removed. Now underneath the tank we have my eShop's 120 protein skimmer. It's pulling out a lot of nasty from the water. The water basically bubbles up through it and pulls out all the solids. I do not have the foam block in here anymore. It's gone. It used to rest right in here foam block captured what solids and uneaten food would go before going into the last chamber that they're gone that's gone that's a nitrate factory I got tired of cleaning it in here instead I have a bag of curagen you can't see it well you sort of can right there is a bag of carbon in where the foam block used to be now here is the Reef Octopus Bio Pellet Reactor. Beautiful, I love this thing. Look at those pellets tumbling nicely. I could watch this all day and I don't know why. Look at all the pellets in there. I've got twice as many pellets as what I need to feed this aquarium so it's really gonna knock the nitrates down I need to get the nitrates down because tang fish are pigs and they go to the bathroom an awful lot in the water and because this is only a 125 gallon tank I really need to make sure it's extra clean because I'm at the point now where I believe all the sand vacuuming and all the feeding them less and Everything is really not going to help. I need to knock down these nitrates. I vacuum the sand. I feed them less. I blow off the rocks with uh, 
turkey baster. I just put this in the water and suck up the water and then blow off all the rocks to get the detritus, which is fish crap, off the rocks. It looks like fine dust, and then that gets it in the water column and gets picked up by your filtration. But anyway, I've got an awful lot of bio pellets in here. For those of you who don't know, I've got videos on bio pellets and nitrate reactors and what they are. But basically, these tiny little pellets about the size of a BB from a gun, um, they feed the anaerobic bacteria, and then the anaerobic bacteria bounces off of these pellets after they feed. That's why you gotta keep them tumbling. Also, you gotta keep them tumbling so they don't stick together. Once they get bounced off, they go up into the water column and they're exported through this hose back into my sump where that water is picked up into the protein skimmer where the bad um, and dying anaerobic bacteria after they feed are taken out. You can only use a bio pellet reactor to remove nitrates if you have a protein skimmer. Um, Anaerobic bacteria gets rid of nitrates. That's the last part of your nitrogen cycle in your aquarium. You get rid of nitrates by doing water changes, but if you have a really high nitrate problem, as I do because I have all these fish, I've resorted to getting a bio pellet reactor here, and uh, that's what a lot of people use. But I love this thing. I did build my own, but I absolutely love it. I don't know why, but again, I could just watch these churn all day. And then right to your left, I have a canister filter, which a lot of people use just to filter your aquarium. This one is set to filter up to 150 gallon aquarium, but yet I've got both of these hoses. One sucks water in from the aquarium, filters through a variety of chambers of foam and block, which I have to clean out later. I do that once a week. And I've also got some pond matrix in there to assist with the nitrogen uh, removal or the nitrate removal, I mean, for the nitrogen cycle. So I've got that going on, and I've got uh, the bio pellet reactor, and then I've got the other hose going out. Not into the tank, but both of these hoses are going into the sump. There's one, and there's the other one. So instead of filtering 150 gallons, I'm only filtering about 10 gallons. So it's really nice because this hose right here, as you can see, this one that I'm moving, it, it's that's what's sucking up from the uh, canister filter so anything getting sucked up by this hose is getting filtered so if I see stuff at the bottom of the tank I can just suck it up so it's like a 24 7 24 hours a day seven days a week um, vacuum if you will so my sump is always nice and clean so that's what I got going on in my uh, sump and underneath the tank and the stand here I love this thing I have a combination of two little fishies, bulk reef supply pellets, and I can't remember the third brand of pellets I put in, but there's three different brands in there. They were just on sale at different times, that's why. So that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna feed these guys now. Take care and happy reefing. Great, huh, Dad?